Hi everybody, welcome to Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. Our ICANN statements for today say I can analyze an author's word choice and make inferences about the tone and author's purpose of the text. I can use practiced reading strategies to help me understand the text, such as highlighting, annotating, looking up words, etc. In order to accomplish these two things, first we have a discussion board about how word choice changes tone. Then we have a learn activity where you will take notes about word choice, tone, and active and passive voice. And then lastly, for our practice activity, we will start reading Unusual Normality, which is our personal essay for this week. We will read today paragraphs 1 through 11 and answer the embedded questions. As always, here's your schedule. And everything that we are doing today is in Schoology. So go ahead to our Schoology page. We are in week five, day three. First, click on Discuss. Word choice changes tone. It says, did you know the meaning of a sentence can change dramatically based on what tone you use when you say the words? The meaning can also change depending on which words you use in the sentence. Copy the sentence stem. Pick a word from the bank to fill in the blank. Then explain, how does this word change the meaning of the sentence? So here's your stem, Carly blank, when he looked at her. You will pick one of these words, put it into the blank in the comment. And then tell me in a second sentence, how does the word change the meaning of the sentence? So you copy. Paste, put a word in here, Carly blushed. This word choice changes the meaning of the sentence because, and then finish that. So you should have a two sentence answer for this discussion. Then you will go back to day three, click on learn, taking notes about word choice, tone, and active passive voice. Your screen will look like this. You will see two things, the slides, and then also you'll be able to click my document to take notes. So click the slides first. It will open a new window where you will be able to view the slides for this notes assignment. I don't know if you all know this, but you can drag one window to the right of your school computer and it will just fill up the right side of your screen. And then you could have the notes on one side and then where you fill in on the other. So here when you click on my assignment or my document, excuse me, it'll open this right here. And you'll notice this one on the left says fill out all notes in this slideshow before submitting this assignment. Use the slideshow that matches these notes to help you. So again, the link right here, the attachment, is the full notes. The assignment is the full notes with blanks. So you would go through, read everything, and then copy in the things that you need to copy in. When you submit these notes on the left, they should be completely filled out. Once you go back here, you will click Submit. You'll have a button right here that says Submit or Turn In. Then you'll go back to Week 5, Day 3. The last assignment says Practice. Start reading Unusual Normality, paragraphs 1 through 11. Today you will start reading the personal essay, Unusual Normality. Log into class link and select the HMH tile. Select the read page for the personal essay, Unusual Normality by Ishmael Bea. Read paragraphs 1 through 11 and complete the three embedded questions. The first one is called Analyzing Voice and Tone. The next one is called Memory Moment. And lastly, Language Conventions. You should complete all of these by answering in complete sentences. Use what you learned about word choice and tone to help you answer the questions. Then check that you've completed the whole assignment, so you've read 1 through 11 and, and answered the three questions, and then you will exit by clicking I'm done. All right, so let's do that. We go to 
HMH in ClassLink, so that will open this up here. You will have a tab up here that says Assignments, and then you need to open the Student Edition Read. The most recent one is going to be for Unusual Normality. Remember, it will play the audio for you, but please make sure you're reading along and answering the questions. Analyze voice and tone says underline the author's thoughts shown in italics. So italics is where it's slanty, slanted to the right. Show, they are shown in italics, excuse me, highlight two details in paragraphs five and six that caused these thoughts. So you would underline his thoughts. And then what caused this thought? So the fortune cookie is what made him think what a great omen. So I would highlight fortune cookie. Then analyze how does the author's syntax, which means sentences, and word choice reveal his attitude. So we talked a lot about tone in those notes and how your word choice shows your attitude. So answer in a complete sentence here. The next one says what words indicate that the author is finished relating information about his earlier childhood. Underline these words. Pardon the bell. Underline these words. Why might this information be important? So you should have two sentences here. And for the last one, what is the effect of this use of passive voice? So you'll highlight it and tell the effect in at least one complete sentence. Once you are done with this portion of the text, please click I'm done. You will be able to continue it tomorrow, but you are done for the day. Again, as always, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you all and have a great day.